Hey, Merry Christmas. I'm gonna hit the hey, Merry Christmas to you too, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my tools here. Hey, you can leave those here if you want to. I can... Nah, I'll just grab them. I'll put them in a drawer for you. Thanks, but these are good tools here. I wouldn't want to get them stolen. Well, that's very wise of you, Jimmy. Those are nice tools. If only there's some way that we can monitor what's going on in the garage so here. So, what would you say if I told you I have a camera here in the shop? I'd say that sounds great. Where is it? Well, you tell me. Now it's somewhere here in the garage. So, ah. why don't you take a look around? I've got it kind of hidden. A little I spy here, huh? So, let's see if you can find it. All right. Let me look around here. All right. Where could it be around here? Let's see. At least somewhere over here. Maybe over there. This area. It's too high over there. Probably coming from this area here somewhere. All right, did you see it? Hmm. If you're watching this video, you probably know that there are benefits to hiding a security camera. I found this camera for $20 out on Amazon. Now that's a great deal, but this video is really not about the camera. It's about hiding the camera. Here's the view from the camera where it's currently positioned in the shop. So if you were looking for this camera and you knew the general area that it was in, you could probably find it. But if not, you probably never would. So I hid it in this empty container of wood filler. It looks right at home out there in the workshop. I marked where the power cord comes into the back of the container. And then I cut that out with an X-Acto knife. It was a little bit too small, so I used a tiny file to go ahead and expand that opening to allow it to fit. And then I flipped it around and I also marked the spot for the camera, the sensor, and the microphone. And then I cut those out with an X-Acto knife. I didn't know exactly how big to make the hole, so I knew I'd have to do some experimenting and some shaping and some testing. And that's what it looked like when I did my first test. So I put the camera in the container, and then I brought it up in the app so I could see exactly what the camera was seeing. The hole for the camera was a little bit small, so I knew I would have to expand that a little bit. So I marked the container and made the opening a little bit bigger. I did this a couple times before I had the final shape for the holes. And here's the cord going on the back of the container, the camera inside, and then there's the final shape of the opening on the front. And if you don't know what you're looking for, it's pretty hard to spot over there. And this is one of the motion alerts that I just pulled up in the app that comes with the camera. So thanks for watching folks. I hope this video was helpful for you. These uh, small cameras, you can hide them just about anywhere. Anyway, happy holidays. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please, uh, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel. Give us a like. Yeah, yeah, thanks for watching. Give us a comment if you've got other ways uh, that you've found to hide these cameras or uh, have any, any thoughts or comments for us. We appreciate it. Happy holidays. Thanks. Bert. Yes, Jane. Back here's another really good example. Americans have pets. This is a cat back here. He looks Name quite Leon. nice. I should like to pet him. You may pet Leon? Yes. Until you can acquire a pet of your own. Note to self. Cat you fine. Bert, purchase a pet. Dogs are preferable. Cat is acceptable. Dog is preferable. Yes. Yes, write that down, Bert. You're doing great.
I will pet him later, James. This guy's name's Leon back here. Yes. Let's move along. Yes, onward, James. Show me more. <laughs>